Snack, snack, baby. Snack, snack, baby. Now break. It's snack time. Hey, yo, 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 yo. It's 315. I hope you're down in your crypto little snack, boy, aight? Nah, I can't pull off any vanilla ice, but then again. Could vanilla ice pull off vanilla ice? Obviously not, can we say? One hit wonder. Guess what time of the year it is, kitties? Guess what time of the year, kitties? It's almost Halloween! So that's because, uh, we're going to start on our Halloween stories today. Snack Boy, what are you going to do for Halloween? Well, for Halloween time of the year, we're going to tell true scary stories. Today I'm going to tell a scary story that happened to me, and then... Hopefully, you're going to email me with all sorts of really spooky tales. Tales of the occult. Tales of bad mummies and daddies. Tales of mean children and all the mean things they can do. Tales of craziness. Tales of violence. Horrible tales. Anyway, but before I get into my scary story for the day, I want to tell you that we have something very exciting coming up. Now, it's almost been 100 episodes together. You and me. Us. The family here in the Snack Boy studio. And you. And for that 100th very special episode... Hell, if Bob Hope can have a 100th episode, so can we. That's why we're going to do something for you, our friends and family out there in Cyberland, that I have gotten more requests for than I can even count. The one thing, the one question I get more than any other question in the entire world is, Terry, when are we going to meet Grandma? Terry, when is Grandma going to be on the show? Well, babies, here it is. Episode 100, you get the real deal. Flesh and blood, Vivian Deadwiley, Snack Boy's Grandma will be here in the Cyber Love Slash Snack Boy Studio to meet you, to tell you about Bingo and her trip to Atlantic City, to tell you about her favorite world wrestlers. And even, even to answer personal emails. So please, start your emails now for Grandma because we're going to collect them and we're going to ask the 10 best questions we get to the scary snack. Not necessarily funny, not necessarily terrifying, but oh so real. It was me. I was 10 years old. I was home alone. It's not a cliche. It's true. I was watching TV and I looked out the family room window and there was a man on our parents' back deck staring at me, a man with long gray hair, and he was staring at me. He didn't have a weapon, but he was looking at me through the window. It was not a Fig Newton of my imagination. He was there. He was looking in on me, and I was in my underwear and a T-shirt watching TV. I think it was like, like um, Funniest Home Videos or, or uh, that, what's that Ed McMahon, Dick Clark show? What is it? It's uh, bloopers and practical jokes, but it wasn't a funny practical joke that night. There was a stranger in the backyard, so I, I just stopped and looked. And then I got my guts, and I ran out the front yard. It was nighttime. I ran down the hill, ran across the street, just like Laurie in the first Halloween movie did. And I found it on the neighbor's door, the Levens. Mr. and Mrs. Levin, and the lights went on, and Mrs. Levin opened the door with her beehive, and she said, Terry Duel, what's the matter? And I said, Mrs. Levin, <laughs> there's someone in my backyard. And she let me in her house, and she closed the door, and she said, Harvey, Terry Crummett's coming over. Little Terry, put on some hot cocoa. And I said, I, I said there's someone in my backyard. And Mr. Levin comes on, and goes, Terry Crummett, little Terry Crummett, who shovels the snow. Hi, Terry. We don't have any cocoa, but we may have tang. No, he doesn't want Tang. It's cold out. Make him cocoa. And I said, my parents aren't home. And there was someone in the backyard. Do you like Kool-Aid, Terry? We might have Kool-Aid, but I think I, I might only have grapes. Hold on. Don't get him Kool-Aid. Get him hot chocolate. You know it's in the pantry. Oh, do you think we should call the police, Mr. Uh, Levin? 